bwana katika mbio za kilomita kumi na mbili. Tuachane na hayo tuangazie tuzo. Tuzo hizi bwana shiriki ama muungano wa wanahabari wa michezo nchini Sjak uh, kwa ushirikiano na kampuni ya Star Times wameza kumtuza kocha wa Gor Mahia Jonathan McKinstry kama kocha bora wa mwezi Juni 2023 McKinstry ameza kupata tuzo hii baada ya kuwaongoza Gor Mahia kuweza kutoa taji la ligi kuu ya soka nchini kwa mara ya ishirini any time that you know as an individual or as a club people want to recognize the work we've been doing you know it's very we're very grateful for that because we go out every day and look it's not just me obviously i'm collecting this award you know the coach of the month award for when we picked up the league title last year but you know michael nam bonfis aluch uh, michael agendia you know all of our backroom staff you know everyone works extremely hard and yeah it, it's just it's a nice little recognition and a reminder because obviously coming a little bit later than when it actually happened but it's a reminder to reflect on the work work that was done last year and and give us motivation to continue working to try and do even better this year. It was a great feeling. Um, obviously last year Gormaya have a great history of championships and trophies in the cabinet but last year I don't think anyone really gave us a chance. You know at the start of the season with the transfer ban we only had 18 outfield players. It was a lean young squad, many guys promoted from the youth team and I think had we finished four for fifth in the league people would have said well that's what we expected. But as the season went on there was a real belief that grew not just amongst the players but amongst the staff, amongst the club as a whole and the fan base that we could do something really special and I think you know when we look back in history Gore have won many trophies but I think there's very few that have been as difficult and as hard earned as last season so it was a great sort of learning curve for everybody involved and it gives us a really great platform to go on and do even more in the future. How does this season look like to you? I think we're going well this season. Obviously, as we stand here today, we're unbeaten in 18 league games. And in fact, the last time this group of players lost a game was last June. So it's over six months ago. And so, you know, it's been a good season so far, but we're hard on ourselves because we want even more. We look at some of the draws we've had this season. And yes, it's nice to have an unbeaten run, but can we convert some of those draws into victories? I think we can. But, you know, every game that goes by, every week that we remain unbeaten means it's more more likely next week that we'll finally lose a game. So we've got to guard against that. We've got to guard against ego within the group and make sure that hard work and just that enjoyment of the game remains. And if we can do that, then, you know, hopefully this run can go on for a little bit longer. But ultimately, it's about winning trophies at the end of the season. And that's our number one aim. Can we retain our championship? And can we also hopefully in the cup, you know, make an impression there? Any pressures ahead of tomorrow's match? There's always pressure. Um, you know, Tusker are, you know, a huge rival of ours. In the last few years, we've been neck and neck um, for the championship. Last year, only a point separated us. And look, they had a bad start to the season, but they're in a great run of form. They've won their last five games. And we know tomorrow it's going to be like, you know, it's, t it's like two, you know, 40-foot container lorries running into each other. Um, there's going to be, it, there's going to be sparks flying. There's going to be intense there's going to be nervousness at points and we're just hoping that the supporters come out in their numbers both the Kogalo faithful as well as you know the merry band of uh, Tusker fans to make a real atmosphere in Machaco so that yeah it's a game to remember because it is a marquee game for the league we want to make sure we put on a show on the field that advertises Kenyan football in the KPL well but we also want off the field the supporters to show the color and just the atmosphere that Kenyan football brings. Huyo ni kocha wa Gormahia akizungumzia mipango yake na sawia pia kuna kwamba mwaka huu